In this lesson, we learn how to write and read numbers in scientific notation. In scientific notation, a number between 1 and 10 is multiplied by a power of 10. For example, we shall write 32,500 in scientific notation. We first write it as a number bigger than 1, but less than 10. To do this, we put a decimal point after the first digit. That is, we take 3, then put a decimal point. We then put the 2 and the 5. We don't put the zeros. We now multiply this by a power of 10. The power of 10 is found by counting the number of digits after the first digit. The first digit is 3. So we count the digits after this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 32,500 equals 3.25 times 10 to the power of 4. Here is another example of 630,000. We write it as 6, followed by a point then the 3. We multiply it by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This number, 2.11 times 10 to the power of 6, is written in scientific notation. The power of 10 is equal to the number of digits after the first digit. That is, we have the first digit of 2 and then 6 more places. We fill these places with the remaining digits in the number followed by zeros. That is, we have a 1, another 1, and the remaining spaces are zeros. 2.11 times 10 to the power of 6 equals 2,110,000. Here is 5.03 times 10 to the power of 2. We write the first digit of 5 followed by 2 places. We have a 0 and then a 3. We are out of spaces, so no more zeros are needed. 5.03 times 10 to the power of 2 equals 503. Here is a number in scientific notation, but the power of 10 is negative. Negative powers of 10 actually represent division by 10. So our number will be very small because it has been divided by 10 three times. An easy way to do this is to know that a negative power of 10 is equal to the number of zeros starting the decimal number. We have negative three, therefore we have three zeros. That is, a zero, the point, and two more zeros. We then write the digits in the number. That is, the five, then the three. Here is another example with a negative power of 10. We have four zeros, then a one, a zero, then a four. Here we have a very small number which we will write in scientific notation. We want the number of zeros at the start of the number to find the negative power of 10. The non-zero part will go first. We have an eight. We multiply this by 10 
to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we put negative 6 as it is a small number starting with zeros. 0 0.0000008 equals 8 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Here is 0 0.0257. We write it as a number between 1 and 10. So we have 2.57 times 10. And the power is negative. 1, 2. 0 0.0257 equals 2.57 times 10 to the power of negative 2. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.